Yo, what up, YouTube? Uh, just now getting back to the crib in Los Angeles on a rainy day. And um, basically, I'm going to uh, get some uh, tabletop reviews going for uh, some uh, new stuff that I acquired recently. Mainly uh, the Simmons. 3x9 power 22 Magnum scope, which will be mounted on the uh, Ruger 1022 synthetic stock stainless steel barrel that uh, I purchased at Turner's in Pasadena. Good deal. You wanna you wanna find something on sale? They have a sale every week there on uh, fishing gear, tactical gear. Uh, weapons, uh, you know, outdoor stuff. That's why it's called Turner's Outdoorsman. They got it all. You want it, they got it. I got this crazy uh, thing right here. Looks like I got a black eye. Looks like I got into a fight. Like I'm an MMA fighter. However, it's not as exciting as all that. It'd be cool if that was what the real deal was, but it's not. Uh, it's just that I had uh, something bothering my eye, and I scratched it to the point where it created this little scar. So, I'm going to go around telling people I'm an MMA fighter. Like, yeah, man, got into it. This was from sparring or something. Either way... Um, we're going to go talk about the Simmons scope, 3x9 power, 32 Magnum, 30, 22 Magnum. The 32 is the uh, field of view by 32, okay, so you can go from 3 power to 9 power, which is really cool for a 22, and with what I've seen with the Ruger 1022, you can get accurate hits, believe it or not, with the right ammo and the right wind conditions and everything, up to 400 yards. Now, that's stretching it for the Ruger 1022, but it can be done, and I've seen it. It's a reality. Now, the power of the round at, 40, at 400 meters isn't going to be what I would consider to be uh, consistently lethal. However... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna test that theory by standing out there at 400 yards and let someone shoot at me with it, but the whole idea is that it's uh, would like I said it's not gonna be consistently lethal at 400 yards. That's really pushing the capabilities of the Ruger 1022 uh, and the 22 uh, cartridge, 22 long rifle cartridge. That's pushing the the limitations of of that cartridge, 400 yards. There's other rifles out there, like competition rifles, you'll see that they use in the Olympics. A 400-yard shot with one of those type of rifles, uh, accurately and consistently with a little bit more uh, power, because you could shoot 22 Magnum or, you know, some uh, higher velocity rounds out of that barrel and out of, that, out of the chamber. The chamber pressure is going to be a lot better than, a, you know, a small little plinker. Um, yeah, I could see maybe a little bit more consistent lethality, uh, if you want to put it like that. Uh, at 400 yards. However, 300 yards, no problem. Ruger 1022, I wouldn't want to be standing there. That thing is deadly. 300 yards, accurate and uh, consistent and reliable. And, uh, you know, that's that's ve very well within the capabilities of the, of the Ruger 1022. Some people would argue that, but those people put a limitation in their mind, so then therefore they're limited. But um, the weapon system, the Ruger 1022, is is tried and true since the 60s, I believe. Uh, it's been around a long time. It's been around a lot longer than me, and it's it's uh, got a great reputation for reliability. Uh, the magazine, the um, the little rotary magazine that comes with it, that you get, that that is bar none probably the coolest magazine for for any uh, 22 rifle that you could buy for plinking or whatever you want to call it uh shooting at cans or varmint hunting or target 
practice or whatever. That little magazine is cool. It's reliable too. Very reliable. It feeds very well. Uh, the factory magazine that comes with the Ruger 1022 is 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 uh, good to go. Bar none, one of the best magazines I've ever seen, and it's consistently um, reliable. So my suggestion is, if you have a Ruger 1022 or if you're going to purchase one, buy a couple of extra of those 10 round ma rotary magazines. If you don't live in California, buy a couple of the uh, uh, 25 round magazines with that same uh, design at the top. The uh, uh, what is it? Uh, something Creek. I uh, can't think of the name of the company that produces a really good quality uh, 1022 25 round magazine. Um, I can't think of it. I'll get back to you guys on that one. But something Creek, Battle Creek, or something like that. Um, I hear they make a really good, um, reliable 25 round high cap uh, magazine for the Ruger 1022. Um, the. Um, the thing about 22 long rifle is that it's fun, but it's also a good way to train for marksmanship. No matter if you're a marine, a cop, uh, a competition shooter, um, you could be a SEAL, a recon guy. If you're having fun shooting, you're having fun shooting. You're still practicing marksmanship. You're still you're still in the mindset of marksmanship. You're still um, training. And and the thing about a 22 long rifle is you're training on a you know inexpensive budget you could still get tactical 1022s have been configured to look like AR15s and MP5s and all that kind of cool stuff so you could still practice room clearing you could still practice patrolling you could still practice uh, you know like uh, contact drills uh, contact with the enemy contact right contact front that kind of stuff um, you know just dropping rounds on the bad guys 22 long rifle um, will save you a lot of money and you still get the, the benefit of good tactical training uh, for whatever scenario you see fit, whether it's room clearing. Even even if you want to get into precision shooting, sniping, it's not going to be the best platform for that, but there's a heavy barrel that you could buy for a Ruger 1022 and you can hook it up with a Harris bipod and you know throw this Simmons scope on there. And, uh, you know, accurize it as much as you possibly can and bore sight it in and all that. And set up your targets out at 300 yards or whatever. And you got MOA adjustments. Start practicing your sniping, your precision shooting. You could be like a little 22 long rifle sniper. And that's fun. And it's cheap. And you're still sniping. <laughs> you're not shooting 308 or 50 caliber BMG or whatever, but... You're still in that combat mindset. You're still having fun, and you're doing something that doesn't cost a lot of money, and uh, it's a good way to spend a weekend uh, or a Saturday afternoon or a Saturday morning or whatever time frame you got with your friends. And uh, if your friends own 1022s, man, you guys can do all kind of cool stuff, set up all kinds of scenarios and patrolling, and you know, shooting at the the tin cans and beer cans or whatever, and get some good training out of out of a 1022. There's other 22 long rifles out there that people like, like the Marlin. That's a good one. <clears throat> There's other ones too, but um, best bang for the buck, I think Ruger 1022 is probably top of of my list of tactical, uh, practical, uh, affordable, fun, uh, easy to shoot, um, easy to teach somebody how to shoot on, uh, lightweight, durable. Uh, classic design, uh, man. You, the list goes on and on. Ruger 1022. Um, it's a great gun, great rifle, um, accurate. You know, it's not like I said. It's not some perfect precision uh, weapon that's going to get you into a match where you're shooting against other people uh, for a, a trophy or a gold medal. But it's not designed for that either. Um, it's just kind of weapon that anybody can go into the store and buy and just have fun with and start shooting but the good thing about it is if you're going to use it for a tactical scenario training uh you know like uh setting up uh, like a, a shoot house or room clearing exercises or uh patrolling or or like i said you know precision sniping or whatever something like that it's just gonna get you 
thinking along the lines of tactics and cheaply, and it's fun. I don't know. And you, you, you want to develop muscle memory, outfit it like an AR-15. You could easily get a, a stock that outfits it like an AR-15. And now your muscle memory is very, very, very similar to the M4 or, or whatever platform you're, you're used to training with in the military. If you're a National Guardsman, if you're a Marine, if you're a SWAT guy... And you just uh, you're off on the weekend. You still want to go do your own your own scenarios, your own thing. You're not under the command of your your uh, company commander or your battalion commander or something where you have to follow the protocols of what they set up. And you know you may not have the type of freedom to do what you want to do. Get a Ruger 1022. You can do whatever the heck you want to do. Your imagination is is limit limitless unless you limit it. You know, you could come up with all kinds of ideas and have fun. So, I got this uh, Simmons scope. I really like it. It was really cheap. It was only like forty bucks. Um, I've already uh, messed with it a lot and looked down the um, the scope viewfinder and, and targeted stuff and adjusted it. And uh, it's very clear. The reticle inside is cool. Uh, it's uh, crosshairs, like a hunting crosshair style. It doesn't have mill dot or anything. Uh, adjustments but it does have a quarter inch MOA adjustments when you take these off to this uh, these turret covers um, you take the turret covers covers off it's just like uh, your hunting scopes see quarter inch quarter MOA each click just like any other hunting scope or or uh, you know precision scope or whatever it uses the MOA minute of angle adjustments, which is very, very cool. And it's Simmons, so I don't know if anybody is aware out there, if you're not, that uh, Simmons is a respected uh, manufacturer of rifle scopes. They're really, they're well known. They also make binoculars and stuff like that. They just make a lot of optics, basically. So um, they have a good reputation. And this one being affordable and still quality it comes with the ring mounts for your your picatinny rail so you can mount that on a rail out of the box you don't have to purchase uh, ring mounts and I like them because they're low to the bore and the closer the scope is to the base of the bore the more uh, easy it is to zero and also the the easier or the the better it holds a zero uh, from a lot of shooting. If you're gonna do a lot of shooting, and you have like this much space between the scope and the the bore, there's a, there's a lot that could uh, that could uh, you know take your zero off, or you could lose your zero because there's just a lot of variables. You could bang it around if you you know drop it or just usage out there in the field. Twenty two as far as the recoil, there's there's pretty much none unless you're like a five year old or six year old and you're gonna feel the recoil. But there's really not any recoil on a twenty two long rifle, uh, so you don't have to worry about the recoil affecting the zero unless you just haven't tightened these screws down like you should have properly. Those should be tightened down evenly. Um, but just, you know, if it's in the back of your truck or gets banged around a little bit, you could lose your zero. So you want to have these low, low mounts. It's a low mounted, um, you know, rail uh, mount uh, rings, or rather, very low mounted. I like that. It just makes it look nicer and cleaner. And it's also uh, advantageous to use the shooter to zero your weapon makes it easier um, I haven't got I haven't picked up the Ruger yet uh, I already paid it off I'm just you know waiting for the 10 day hold uh, this is like day three I think so seven more days and then I'm gonna do a video of me mounting and zeroing this and I'm gonna zero it for a hundred yards and then from there you know you can adjust it accordingly because you got your uh, uh, MOA adjustments on here and I'm going to see if I can get some 300-yard uh, shots, which I know I can. And 
accurately. Knock off some uh, whatever, cans, whatever. That's a challenge. Some beer cans at 300 yards. That's a challenge. It'll be fun. See, that's the whole point. Is And, and you know, you could burn up ammo on this thing. Uh, I got I already bought ammo. I bought um, 22 long rifle ammo. 333 in the box for like, I don't know, $14 or something. And I got like two or three of those boxes. So, man, that's, you'd be shooting for days with, you know, that. Now, if you want, if you're talking about budgeting, man, you cannot beat the 22 long rifle, especially Ruger 1022, because the weapon itself is, is very reasonable. I got it for like $230. At Turner's in Pepsi on sale, uh, and it was the stainless steel barrel and synthetic black stock version, which to me is the cooler version. Uh, it's all, you know, very durably made, um, and it comes with an integral rail on it, so I don't have to worry about buying, uh, like, you know, drilling and tapping and all that stuff. And as a matter of fact, it is drilled and tapped for a Picatinny rail if you want to add one of those on there, but it has an integral rail. For something like this, where these can just grab onto the integral rail. So that's already on the rifle. So no adjustment needed for, for this scope, for this type of scope. If you want to do like a, a red dot or something like that, optic or, you know, whatever else, you could put a Picatinny rail on there because it's drilled and tapped, like I said. You know, you got you got the option there. And, that you know, all that for 230 bucks unbeatable in my opinion my humble opinion um so i look forward to picking the rifle up and zeroing it and mounting this and i'm going to do a video on that and i also look forward to uh doing some videos of me zeroing it outside you know in the desert somewhere uh on some enemy beer cans at various ranges and uh let me uh get back to my uh mindset combat mindset you know all that good stuff that you learn in the in the military uh, i don't know who out there was in the military that uh that was in and got out and still likes to do tactical stuff like i do and still have fun shooting weapons that's the beauty of uh what you learned in the military stays with you for a long time the discipline the camaraderie um the skills the weapons skills the patrolling skills map reading skills um you know the um just the mindset, you know, like if you see the movie 300, those guys all had a mindset. Now, if any of those guys were to get out of the, the Spartans service, Spartan military, <laughs> the same mindset is they trained on that stuff their whole life to be Spartans. And then they get out. What are they not supposed to be Spartans no more? They're still thinking like a Spartan. They're not going to get out and start doing basket weaving or, or knitting or sewing. They're still tough guys. Well, that's how I feel about getting out of the Marines is that once a Marine, always a Marine. So I'm always going to have that same mind frame and that same tactical mindset. And when I die, I'm going to be buried in my dress blues because I'm a Marine. And once a Marine, always a Marine. Simplify.